Hey, welcome back to this Woman Wednesday edition of Liquid Lunch. I'm John Tobacco, and uh, on Wednesday, like there is no shortage of unbelievable and amazing perspectives on things. Today, um, we had to break the mold a little bit to fit in Bernie McGurk, so we had a man. Um, but then when you have to offset having one man on Woman Wednesday, you got to bring these even more powerful, like Kate Herman and Susan Settembrino. And then when you want to know what's really going on in the social media universe and the Twitterverse, you got to bring in another powerhouse. And joining us again, Pavlina Osta. Uh, am I saying that right, Frank, or is it Asta? Asta like pasta. Oh, asta like pasta. <laughs> yes. Pavlina Asta La Vista joins us today. Pavlina's been on the show many times before. She helps us behind the scenes. She's always trying to help us get our social media doing a little better. But uh, there's so much stuff going on out there with Instagram. We're going to get to all that. But there's this Cambridge Analytica was supposedly the company that was behind all these Russian bots and all yeah. this stuff. Now there's this new movie out, The Hack. Yeah. about it and you were going to give us a little rundown on yeah, that. Yeah, John, so there's this new movie or documentary on Netflix called The Great Hack and I thought it was very interesting and I thought a lot of your viewers would love to know about it but basically it's about um, Facebook and Cambridge, Cambridge Analytica um, and the data scandal that kind of took place during um, Brexit and also the 2016 Trump or just election in general and it's very interesting it kind of you know gives a very layman's term you know for like the mainstream audience to kind of see what's going on with their data and how important their data is and um, and how like companies like Facebook they're how they're using it so in your view um, Facebook to me has uh, leans very far to the left yes. they block a lot of so a lot of conservatives and Republican stuff um, was Facebook an unwitting uh, contributor to Trump's win for what they did with Cambridge well, I think they were definitely, you know, had some involvement in they it, did. you know what I mean, for sure, because they were running all these different ads and everything, but um, I still think Trump, you know, he he won on his own. Yeah, yeah, but, but I'm saying Facebook didn't factors. even realize what was happening tonight. I don't think so. Probably uh, not. So it's interesting that this is a, another successful Netflix original uh, production. A lot of great Netflix original programming, uh, <laughs> including <laughs> Get Me Roger Stone, which is available <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I, I am curious, Netflix... And don't forget about Abnormal Attraction on Amazon, yeah. made by our own team right you here. You had to see yes. when the executives were walking and the trailer for Abnormal Attraction was playing yesterday. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me like, what the hell is this? Uh, Do but they anyway. know that Jason is an Academy yeah. Award winning uh, contributor to that film? But, Do they know that? So, Pavlina, Netflix is having a little bit of a tough time. Yeah. They're losing friends. They're losing the office. What else is Netflix stumbling with of late? Well, recently they lost 130 mi like uh, thousand like subscribers to their their platform and everything. So because they're getting hit by like a lot of different um, angles. So like Disney's coming out with their own subscription platform, uh, NBC. Like they're, that's why they're losing you know 30 Rock and The Office and all these other shows. And it's going to be interesting to kind of see like the history of or like the future for Netflix um, when there's so many competitors coming out. So is now a good time to short the Netflix stock? That's kind of like yes. yeah. Oh my God! You see, the learning curve is moving here. Uh, I would be short Netflix as long as short Nike. Um, and Pavlina, you know, um, we have a big announcement coming this week, but we may need some more content for this show. And I know oh. me and you have been talking about building a portfolio yes. and educating our audience on what things to buy and sell. I think we might have to discuss in one of our meetings shorting Netflix. Oh, because I definitely think so. They're losing subscribers in big yes. bunches. I think that stock could go like... The ten bucks from the two hundred. Speaking of these big social media companies, these big tech companies like Netflix, like Facebook, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, apparently they're doing some changes to the like process. What are they doing exactly? Yeah, so they basically want to hide the likes that you can get on a photo. So say you get hundred likes, two hundred likes. There's a lot of pressure to make sure you you know ha post a, a decent selfie, you know, a fun boomerang, whatever you may be posting, and that seems to be creating a lot of like pressure and stress for people. So they want to they want to oh. do away with. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> I only My got 20 likes. What am I going to do? I got more likes than me. I need more likes. 
I have to do something inappropriate. You, you know, yes. we really need the Instagram corporate America telling us how to feel about you, how many likes. You know what I'd like to see corporate America do is do something about Generation Z. And no, no offense, Pavlita, I know you're part of your proud Generation Z. -er. They use the word like in every other sentence. They're the overuse of the word like. That's true. Needlessly. That's true. That's what I'd like to see corporate America crack down on. Yeah. Fewer use of the word like where it's inappropriate. I, um, when I actually like someone, mm -hmm. like maybe a female or something, I do all I can to hide my like of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah, play cool. True. So maybe, yeah. maybe there's something to it. Play hard you to know, get, if you play you know? hard to get. <laughs> um, very hard to get on our show is Pavlina Asta. She's always helping us in every way she can, and I think as the show expands, you're going to see a lot more of her. Pavlina, thank you. We're going to work on our model portfolio, and we're going to bring it to you. We'll be back right after this. Frank's going to correct me.